Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 265, quantitative comparison question number 5. Let's take a look at it. You have to have the book in front of you. Otherwise, you'll be lost. The question is, 3 quarter y minus 5, we are told equals 7. And they want you to compare the quantity y versus 15. In other words, they want you to find what y is. Whether it's more than 15 or less than 15 or equal to 15. Obviously, the answer cannot be d because the answer exists. There has to be some value of y. Let's find out. Add 5 to both sides, add 5 to this side and 5 to both this side, so you end up with 3 quarter y equals 12. And then how do I get rid of 3 quarters? Well, multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So that drops out with this one, this goes out with this one. So your y, your y equals and this 3 goes out with this one, so it's 4 times 4 is 16. The answer is A. That's all. This traditional way is about the only way that I can think of right now, uh, because it's a pretty straightforward one. Right? And if you try to find some nifty way to find uh, to, to, to this thing, sometimes the, 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 the quick way actually ends up taking too much time in a simple problem. In a simple problem, you're most of the time better off just sticking with the traditional way. Uh, three quarters of the people who took this exam, 74%, uh, got this question right. So it's not actually too bad. The answer is 16, and we're comparing it with 15, so the answer is A. That's all. Let's take a look at the next problem. Take a look at number six. Let's put it right here, number six, so we don't have to erase this thing. In number six, they want you to compare ninety percent of thirty versus thirteen and a half percent of 200. Well, 90% of 30. How do I figure that out? 90% of 30. And for, and for crying out loud, don't sit there and go uh, 30 times 0 0.9. It's pointless. Don't do that. What is 3 times 9? 3 times 9 is 27. So 90% of the 30 is 27. There you go. That's all. How do I find out 13.5% of 200? Well, I know that 13.5% of 100, 13.5% of 100 is 13.5. 13.5% of 100 is, of course, just 13.5. So, another 100, 13.5% of 100 is 100 should be on the 13 and a half, just add them up. 13 times 13 plus 13 is 26, so 13 and a half and 13 and a half should be 27. Oh, they are equal, what do you know? The answer is C. The answer is C. That's all. And the answer is C. This is 13 and a half times 2 is what I meant to write. Why times 2? Because you're taking off 200, not 100. Again, that's why I do it out here. 13.5% of 100 would have been 13.5. Of 200 is going to be twice as much. That's all. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, either face-to-face -face tutoring or online tutoring, or if you wish to buy the purchase the solution manuals to any of these questions, get, if you wish to get hold of me for any of these reasons, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, gre.com and send me an email. All right? Thanks.